Lesson day, this is your copy ng RT. Si Alex Navarosa, your clinical instructor in introduction to mechanical ventilation. And uh, I'm here to discuss the setting of various modes of mechanical ventilation uh, with, of course, the Puritan Bennett 980 series ventilator by Covigen. Okay, so before we you start manipulating your mechanical ventilator, you need to ensure that you have your gas supply connected uh, to oxygen wall outlet and you can use the wall outlet for compressed air or the external compressor or the built-in compressor of the 980 ventilator. Then, of course, the breathing circuit. Uh, ensure that the you have the, of course, uh, expiratory filter, inspiratory filter. The basic uh, vent uh, breathing circuit is connected and secure. Okay. So, the check for the short self-test. It is uh, recently past then you don't have to go to the doing the SST all you need to do is select a new patient okay make sure that the ventilator is also not connected to the test lung so in this case uh, you need to of course select the patient's gender okay and then you can enter the patient's height okay so let's say the patient height is uh, okay if it is lighted yellow that means it is active and you can select you can increase or decrease it by using the knob okay so in this case let's say uh, my height the height is uh, 160 centimeter okay and you could see that the in kilograms the same as with the, the same as with the servo u they have the same uh, they have the same calculated uh, predicted uh, body weight okay in the once you have done that then you could uh, okay. okay so that's it uh, you, it is already selected okay now uh, you can see that uh, once you have uh, entered uh, uh, selected your uh, new patient automatically all the necessary data is uh, in one screen so you have under the ventilator setup or setup pin so you have the demographic data for your patient the gender, the height, and the uh, automatically calculated uh, ideal body weight or predicted body weight. And then you can select the ventilation type. Okay, if it is invasive or non invasive. When using invasive or non invasive, you could see right away the changes in the uh, pa parameters, set parameters. So uh, let's say invasive then of course uh, we are going to use select AC or assist control and then uh, in the mandatory type we select uh, volume control okay and then there is no spontaneous because uh, the mode we selected is assist control and then we can select right away which trigger we want do we want uh, pressure triggering or flow triggering so in this case let's select uh, flow triggering so from here you could already you know uh, set your parameters okay so in invasive volume control uh, assist control volume control and uh, fl flow triggering these are the parameters so you have the frequency then you can manipulate that by uh, turning the knob and as you can see once you press one parameter for example 
here you could right away see the IE ratio okay this is the IE ratio then this is the total cycle time then uh, this is the yellow is your see the yellow is your expiratory time and the green light green is the inspiratory time okay so once you you could see right away okay. 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 see you could see right away that when you increase or decrease the frequency you know at a given limit the inspiratory time is actually fixed only the total cycle time the ratio and the expiratory time is changing okay when you select the frequency so let's say let's set this to 12 that gives us uh, an IRE ratio of see now 1 is to 5.58 expiratory time of 4.24 expiratory time of 0.76 and cycle time of 5 so you could uh, manipulate the the uh, the other parameters that could affect the time elements then of course the tidal volume uh, the tidal volume okay again in this window here you could see the PBW and uh, below is the target tidal volume in ml per kg so if for example we want 7 ml per kg then we just increase the tidal volume so in this case our target is 420 but as you can see once you manipulate the tidal volume all the time elements or time parameters are affected for example or see the inspiratory time the ie ratio the expiratory time but not the cycle time okay so the ie ratio inspiratory time uh, expiratory time is affected when you manipulate the tidal volume okay so let's say we need 420 and that gives us a target of 7 ml per kg okay now the flow max is uh, unlike the servo U, it can be set in the Puritan Bennett 980 okay by Covidian Puritan Bennett 980 ventilator so if you want to decrease the inspiratory time you may want to increase the maximum flow and what happens is that if you increase the max flow you decrease the inspiratory time you increase the ratio the gap so now it has become 1 is to 6.14 and you also increase the expiratory time so the cycle time is the same because uh, uh, you are not manipulating the frequency okay so let's say let's keep the uh, inspiratory time to 1.2 okay so that gives us a ratio of 1 is to 3 and uh, expiratory time of 3.8 okay now the sensitivity of course you can set that to 2 okay and then the FIO2 let's say we only need the 50 and then the maximum pressure we can set that to let's say we want uh, 30 only okay no, I'm in charge. <laughs> okay, so we can set the peak pressure to, to let's say 30, 35, and we can increase it later. Okay, once the ventilator is in operation. Okay. 
then we can set the plateau time see as you can see when you increase the plateau time you could actually increase the inspiratory time and because of that you can manipulate so it will change the IE ratio and the expiratory time so in this case let's say we want to maintain the the IE ratio to 1 is to 2 but uh, we need to increase the uh, inspiratory time to 1.6 so it's uh, you choose either maintaining the inspiratory time or maintaining the ratio okay and then of course we have the ramp okay in the servo view we don't have the option for changing the uh, flow pattern okay so we can change from square to ramp now what is the effect if we change to square you can see that there is a decrease in the inspiratory time and an increase in the ratio so this is how because with square you are delivering a constant flow of 38 uh, liters per minute so that's why the inspiratory time becomes shorter because it tends to deliver the flow faster okay so you may choose uh, square in, in, in uh, a ramp instead if you would like now uh, I will not discuss uh, why okay so we will have a very good topic on that on the effects of uh, of changing and why we need to change you know increase or decrease the para settings and uh, yeah change the flow pattern to square or uh, but let's say we just want to have uh, this these settings okay and so we need an IE ratio of 1 is to 3 and the uh, inspiratory time of 1 is to 2, uh, 1.2 which can be achieved with the use of ramp okay then of course the PIP say we only need so again we can increase or decrease our PIP let's say we only need 3 and then once you are sure of your settings you can just press start okay so as you can see the ventilator still is um, not uh, functioning actually this ventilator automatically detects you know if you connect the ventilator to the patient or the test now so either we press control or automatic you can connect to the test okay so now we had uh, we connected the breathing circuit to the test lung and the ventilator is now in its usual operation so once we have this we can now uh, set our alarm okay you can press that this icon and you can see that in this ventilator you have the following alarms you have the uh, peak pressure high peak pressure alarm you have the high frequency total frequency alarm then you have the high and low minute volume alarm you have your high and low mandatory exhale tidal volume alarm. and then you have your uh, high and low spontaneous exhale tidal volume alarm which of course will not be active as you can see there's no alarm. so it will not be active okay so again uh, let's say here we begin plus 5 or plus 10 so use basically again the same uh, guideline in your manual okay so all you have to do is use that
sure okay just accept all okay to the full box here no bound then just uh, reset the alarm okay so now you were able to set the Puritan Bennett 980 series in volume control mode thank you very much